Hey, yeah, welcome back. Well, I'm at Beadnell again, which wasn't the original plan. I was going to go to Whitley Bay just to mix it up a bit, give you a little bit of variety, but uh, unfortunately, all the sand's washed away from the bottom of the launch there, so uh, there's too many rocks for one person to get over on their own. So, here I am at Beadnell, but look at it, man. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. It's a little bit chillier than it looks because there's a slight breeze coming from the east, but um, the water is crystal clear. So, I've got about, let's think, about maybe four hours of the ebb left. So I'm going to go north to that ground near the North Sunderland Boy, and I'm going to stick a fish black minnow on, maybe a couple of metals, and see if we can get some decent pollock. I'll see you over there. Right, so I'm out at my first mark. Whoop! Oh. And into my first fish. <laughs> it's not very big, but uh, it's a fish. I was just going to say, I've got a, a tribute minnow on. I was going to tell you I was in 17 metres of water and I'd stuck a bit of that krill stinky spray on, but uh, let's get this little coddling up first and then we'll crack on. Right, look at that. There we go. We'll get him unhooked. That's a good start, isn't it? There we go, way. We'll uh, we'll put him straight back. But yeah, so I've uh, I've been messing around with these smells, these spray-on things, as I said, and uh, a few of you being interested. So I brought them out with us today. I've got the krill smell, and I've got this, which is called Manila, which smells like vanilla. So I, I suppose it's supposed to be vanilla for men with a m. But uh, we'll stick it on later on, and we'll see if it's uh, vanilla for fish, eh? But at the minute, I've got the stinky krill spray on. Let's get down there and get another one, eh? Oh, I'm in! <laughs> oh, this isn't bad. Oh, he's putting a bend in this lad, isn't he? What have we got here? Wonder what this is, eh? I'm worried about the sun getting on that lens, but we'll sort that out when we get the fish up, eh? Come on. What have we got? Let's have a look. Oh, that's a nice chunky coddling, that. I like that one. Let's have a look at him. There you go. Well, he definitely likes the vanilla smell, doesn't he, eh? Let's put him back. We'll see you later, buddy. And he's off. No messing around, eh? It's a canny big tide today. It's not massive, but uh, it's certainly not one of the smaller or the medium tides. So I'll be tooling along at a fair old rate here. I'm doing two and a half kilometres an hour. Oh, I'm in. Oh, I missed it. Oh, damn it. We'll let that back down. See if he wants another go. They often do come back, you know. Oh, he had another little shot there, but we missed him. That's a shame, wasn't it? It's quite a positive bite that. Am I wrapped around my tip there? No. So I'm uh, I'm bouncing my lure off the bottom there. If you have a look at my rod tip, I let a bit more line out. See it bouncing there? That's not a fish. That's the bottom. That's me bouncing my lure over the rocks, which is just what you want to be doing, really. That's why I fish weedless, you know. So you can do that. If I was fishing with a metal, I'd fish it slightly higher up, obviously, because it's not weedless. And I probably wouldn't fish the metal at this state of the tide anyway. I'd probably wait until we were a little bit slower. Get in. <laughs> Another one. Let's see what we've got there. Eh? It's turning me kayak round in the tide. I don't want you to do that, mate. We'll get the sun in the lens. Where is he? Here he is. Oh, it's another nice codling, you know. They're not bad, these. Getting a bit bigger. There we go. Right, buddy, if you just uh, hold your horses, we'll sort you out and we'll get your way. It's in a funny bit, isn't it? Uh, oh, there we are. I can see that. I can see it now. See what's going on. Went in one side and out the other, didn't it? See you, buddy. And he's off. 
Keen to get away, that lad. Oh, I'm in again. <laughs> again, this feels nice, but as I say, we're in uh, 20 metres of water, moving at three kilometres an hour, so... Although, you know, this is quite tasty, this one. Let's get it up and have a look at it anyway. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, hey. There he is. Fish of the trip, this chap, so far. It's only lightly hooked like, so make sure we'll get him up for you to have a, a look at. There he is. Oh, he's good, isn't he? Hey? <laughs> Lovely stuff. Right, let's uh, get you unhooked, buddy, and then we'll get you away. There we go. It's that out. Oop. Try not to put my fingers up your gill plates. There we go. They are getting a bit bigger, aren't they? Right. See you, buddy. And he's away. We'll uh, sort this lure out and we'll get back down, see if we can get another one, eh? Right. So I'm at the other end of that drift now and uh, we're just going to use the last of the ebb to go back over that rough ground. I'm a little bit closer in, so uh, we'll go over slightly shallower water, but we'll see how we do eh? Again, I'm still looking for that first decent pollock of the year. A little bit of the spray on. Oh, I'm getting a workout today. Right, let's get this down there. Catch ourselves a fish. Oh, that looks lovely on the way down. I would eat that. Oh, ho, 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 a little something had a go. Oh, I'm in. Oh, this is all right, isn't it? This doesn't feel too bad. Started off well, he's fading a little bit like, but uh, it's a fish. Let's get it up. Have a look at it. I'm going to say it's a half decent codlin, this, you know. Because he's, uh, he's putting a bend in. There he is. Oh, aye, that's nice. That is nice. We'll have that, thank you very much. You can see the fight on the sounder there. Right, let's uh, get you unhooked and we'll... Get you away as soon as we can, really. Let's see what you've done with that. There we go. He's all right, isn't he? A little bit smaller than I thought when I first saw it, but uh, still a nice fish. Catch you later, pal. I just wrecked that lure I just fixed as well, so. Uh, we'll go back down. We'll give this one more go, and then we'll swap lures. Just I don't really want to be fannying about whilst I'm over the pinnacle. Oh, I'm in. Oh, that feels all right, doesn't it? <laughs> I think this is a really nice codlin. It's putting a real bend in, but then again, you never know what you get them to the top, do you? Owie, let's have a look at you. It's definitely not a pollock, or if it is, it's a very tired one. No, it's not. Oh, that is nice. Oh, he's coming up an odd way. I don't want to lose him. Right. Where is he? There he is. Look at that chap. He's chunky, isn't he? He's started to put a little bit of weight on. Let's uh, get the hook out. And I'll show you him. There you go. Right, we'll get you back, pal. And he's away. I think we might get one more fish out of this lure. <laughs> it's a bit spannered. What has he done with it? Right, let's get that back that way so it's just clinging on let's get out and get another one I'm only in 13 meters of water now so it's nice to be catching fish this close in because that means the kelp and everything's starting to grow back and maybe a few crabs are starting to shed I don't know maybe still a little bit cold for that here in the northeast it's getting shallower again yeah I think going a little bit further out was definitely definitely a good move because this ground's really nice Oh, I'm in. <laughs> There's loads of depth changes here. Let's get this up. Oh, he's 
she's putting a bend in, but uh, you know the water's quite deep and the tide is running. But the overall size is getting a little bit bigger than the first drift down. There he is. Oh, -ho. he'll do. It's absolutely wrecked that Lua Lake. I'll we'll have to change that now. There he is. It's a bit smaller than I thought. Again, like I say, the tide uh, makes it quite hard to tell, you know. Let's get that one off. And I think, let's go with the glow in the dark, eh? Why not? Why not? It's been charging up in the sunshine there for a little bit. Add a bit of stink, it'll be irresistible. Oh, right up my sleeve. What an idiot. So there's some advice for you. Check which way the nozzle's facing before you squirt the smell on bloody everything. <laughs> oh, that's going to ming tomorrow. Oh, man. So we're definitely slowing down a little bit drift-wise. That's good news. Because I was struggling there. <laughs> Pedalling back into that. The tide's due to be slack around about 12 o'clock, half past 12, which is about an hour after uh, low water because uh, it's different for different parts of the coast. But here at Beadnell, the tide continues to run for about an hour, either side of high or low water. So if it's low water at um, 11 o'clock, the tide will still go north for about another hour, even though low water was 11 o'clock before it turns around off, but before you get the slack water anyway. Oh, what's that? That has got to be a pollock lake, hasn't it? I absolutely smacked it. Why is the old uh, drag not going? There we are, because it was a bit too tight. Now it's a bit too loose, bloody hell. Oh, this feels all right. I think this is going to be a pollock, you know. Absolutely smacked it. <laughs> Let's get it up and have a look. I might be wrong, like, because it's behaving itself now, but it really took off when it first got it. Let's have a look. I'm excited to see this one. What is it? It's not, you know, <laughs> it's not a pollock. It's just a decent codling. The best one of the day. Look at that. Wow. Now that's a bit more like it, isn't it? It's a proper tubby lad, him, isn't he? Let's get this hook out and I'll give you a good look at him. And then uh, we'll put him back. Look at that. He's not too bad at all. Right. See you, buddy. Get in. <laughs> Let's uh, have another one of them. Thank you very much. That would be nice. Well, there you go. Me uh, fish guessing skills proved to be wrong again. You're not half smacked it, though. Oh, get in. <laughs> Got ourselves a little in. I just felt its tail go over the line, so well, it's not tiny, but uh, certainly not a monster. It's definitely not the thumbnail. Let's get it up and have a look at it anyway, eh? There he is. There he is, another codlin. There's absolutely stacks of them around today, isn't there? Oh, there's a few fish in the middle of the water there as well, not too uh, far down. Let's get that away. See you, pal. That's interesting. Some... Uh, Fairly considerable traces about 10 metres down. Let's go and have a little jiggle around amongst them and see if I can feel anything. So I suppose the question we'll have to ask ourselves is, do the scent additives work? And I think the conclusion we can come to is, we don't know. We just don't know really, because unless you're willing to do side-by-side -side comparisons with a couple of your fish and one with one without but even then you know how many times have you been out with a mate both using the same lures same line same rods whatever drifting within five foot of each other you're catching all day and he's not do you know what i mean so you still couldn't guarantee that's what it was i mean the conclusion i can come to is adding smell to something well it can't stop you catching fish can it i suppose it could only help how much does it help i don't know what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Oh, get in. <laughs> that came off the bottom, that. Wonder what that was. It's quite scatty. 
it did I was just winding it up there about three or four turns off the bottom when that grabbed it <laughs> it's kicking off there he is <laughs> oh man I love it it's not too bad either this chap if you just cool your jets mate we'll get you away you spanned me lure haven't you though thanks pal if you get your gob open we'll get the tail out and then we'll get the hook out right there we go there you are right there he is see you pal I'm gonna wear uh, gonna swap this out I'm gonna stick a fluorescent yellow on just to try and prove the point I suppose that the colors don't matter quite as much as we might imagine I think, anyway. And we will get this on. And we'll get it down there. But you know, being a superstitious fisherman, I'm still going to stick a bit of squirt on it, aren't I? Just in case. Just in case it's what's making the difference. It's looking a bit knackered, that, but it'll do for a fish or two. I just go out, oh I'm in I was gonna say I might go out a little bit further in a slightly deeper water but I don't really need to and I mean obviously I only caught that fish because I put the spray on <laughs> right let's get it up and have a look oh it feels half decent this chap certainly doesn't want to come up in a hurry unless it's just wrapped in the line let's have a look hey it's not bad is it that is not bad can see where he took it on the sounder there there you go it's in the cheek that one he was eyeing it up weren't you pal there you go see you buddy right let's uh sort this tangle out and get back down there right so i'm uh right on the edge of the structure here so i'm gonna have a little cast about seeing how it's getting a bit Still, we're getting to uh, slack water, I should say. And uh, we'll see how we do. So I'm going to cast that way because it literally drops off five metres in about that, that bit of distance. So I've only chucked that sort of, what, maybe 30 foot away from the kayak. And it's 20 metres deep there and 14 metres deep here. So I do stand to lose my gear because we are still drifting a bit. But I'd like to drag one over the top of that pinnacle and see what we get, eh? Oh, that was all right. That top is on the way down. <laughs> uh, so I was uh, quite high up in the water when that took us. And what have we got? It's not, uh, it's not doing a lot. It feels like a weight, but it's not doing an awful lot with itself. So I'll be interested to what it is now. I wonder if this could be the Pollock. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> We've got it in the end. It's not a monster, but I tell you what, it's not a little one either, is it? <laughs> I'm excited about that fella. So if you just uh, bear with us, buddy. It's a two-part manoeuvre, this, because you took it in the side. We'll get that out, show you to the camera, and then uh, we'll get you back, mate. So there he is. Whoop. First pollock of the session. Nothing wrong with him as well. Hey, see if we can get another one. We'll just keep there. Uh... Oh, no. No. <laughs> me Lou has fallen through me scupper plug and I couldn't get it back. Anyway, enough of that shenanigans. We'll, uh, we'll get back out and we'll cast again. See if we can pick up another pollock. That would be lovely. Chuffed with that. Oh, what's that? Ah, it was acting a little bit odd, wasn't it? Wonder what this is. <laughs> Doesn't feel bad. He's giving a good account of himself, isn't he? Feels like a decent coddling, you know. I'm doing it again, aren't I? Guessing what the fish is. Let's have a look. 
Let we'll have a look. He's quite deep down, this lad. There we go. I was right. Another decent coddling. <laughs> Get in. I love it. It's slack water as well, you know. Still catching. There he is. Look at that. See you later. And he's away there. No bother. But we'll just keep doing that. We'll keep casting around because it seems to be doing the job, eh? So we must have had 20 fish out so far today, but uh, oh, took on the drop. <laughs> oh, lost it. Damn it. I was just saying we must have had uh, 20 fish out of here today, but uh, obviously quite a few small ones, so we won't be, won't be giving you them all, I won't be showing you them all, but uh, this one doesn't feel too bad, so I'll probably show you this one. Let's get it up over that ledge. That took as soon as it got within a few foot of the bottom that it never actually touched the bottom. Have a little look, eh? Yeah, the tide's definitely started moving now. It's having a little kick. What are you? I'm gonna say a coddling. And I'm right. There we go. Another half decent one, eh? Oh, you wanted that, didn't you, pal? Oh. Let's get you out. I'm getting a bit tired now, just reeling the men's making us knackered. We had enough soon, I think. There you go, buddy. Right. So I'm just going to chop around here for a bit. Uh, I think the tide has turned. We'll see if we start to drift. And when we do, I'll pedal a little bit further in. And uh, we'll have a slow drift home, eh? Got it. <laughs> Took us on the way down. Let's see what we've got. Got the algae back in the water now. The tide's moving again. Not much of it like, but there probably will be a bloom soon. Here we go, buddy. Oh, hey, he's all right. He's all right. The uh, glow in the dark's doing a bit of damage now. Let's get you unhooked, mate. We'll get you away. There you go. Just get that out of there. Whoop, just that last little bit to go. What's going on with that? What's going on with that there? Don't be kicking that out, man. Right, we'll get him away in a second. Don't you worry. There we go. He's unharmed. Whee! Kicking off a bit, though. Right, we'll see you, pal. Oh, he's away. He's in a bit of a hurry, that lad, wasn't he? Just a quick run and repair on this lure before it goes back down, because... Uh, this is an original fish, Black Minnow, and they're not quite as cheap as the old tributes, you know. So we'll try and keep it ship shape for as long as we can. There we go. Don't be worried about the salt water when you're uh, super gluing your lures, because the cold water actually helps the glue to set better and faster. Could be famous last words, like. There we are. There we go. Right, I am going to have... Right, I'm gonna, I'm, right. what am I going to do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to have one more cast here. Then I'm definitely going to pedal in. All right, oh, I've super glued my finger to my rod. What an idiot. There we go. Panic over. Last cast with that, and then we'll uh, we'll just go 
further in and do a proper drift because uh, what I'm up to two kilometers an hour now yeah oh I just caught a fish there whilst I was uh, answering a call of nature <laughs> We'll just get this up and then we'll get it away, eh? Crikey. I'm good at catching them by accident, like. Yeah, we'll go. How rude of you to interrupt, my friend. Right, we'll just get you back. There you go. There he is, the cheeky little scamp. So we're going to have a shot here, I think. Uh, I mean, 17 metres of water. I'm kind of halfway between the North Sunderland Boy and Beadnell Point. Uh, so I'll just fish this drift in now, I think. I'm still going to cast around a bit because the tide's not running crazy yet. But uh, I seem to have been having a bit more success with that today, even when I was still drifting before. So I'm going to give it another shot. I'm in. Hey, it's a bit scatty, whatever it is, but uh, it's been a little while, hasn't it? Just coming down the other side of a, a lump of rock there. What have we got there? Eh? What have we got? Yeah, the kitty wakes calling there. Oh, a little coolie. That's why I was. Uh, that's why it was all a little bit skiddy. There we go. How you mate? How are you doing? You're oh, nice. Nice to see you. There you are. Little cool fish there. Still getting them at this time of year. Do you know what? I might just stick a metal on if that's the case. Uh, I'll probably lose it like because I'm drifting at a canny rate of knots. And obviously a metal isn't weedless. But if I behave myself and don't let it bounce on the ground too much, we might be all right. Watch out. Let's stick a metal on then for the last uh, half an hour or so. See if we can have some fun with them coolies. There we go. Do you know what? I might even give it a little squirt, eh? I mean, I can't really th see it sticking to it, like, but let's have a go. Let's get down there with this and see how we do. It's 28 gram uh, razor claw. Silver minnow. I've swapped the treble out for a single hook as well. It's just uh, easier to unhook the fish when you catch them and less snaggy. Oh, on the bottom there. I'm only in 14 metres of water, like so. The ground's pretty rough, so there's every chance I will lose this, but hey, we'll have a bit of fun, eh? I'll pop the glow in the dark on charge anyway, just in case, in the sunshine there. Just in case we switch back to it in a minute. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> there must be a school of coolies down there. Oh, he's quite, uh, quite energetic, this chap. <laughs> what have I got? What have I got? He's putting in a good account of himself. I'm going to say this is a Pollock-like. I'm going to suggest that this is a Pollock. Oh, 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 and it is. Oh, and it's a proper Pollock as well. Get in. Oh, 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 oh. That switch to the metals was a good idea, wasn't it? Let's get it up. Oh, look at that, man. Hey? Eh? Oh, I'm happy with that. Right, I'll have to give myself a bit of slack. And I'll have to get the forceps out for this, I fancy. So let's have a look in there. See how you're doing. You know, if you just stay still, mate, we'll get this uh, 
we'll get this done right so I can see the hoop there it's in the top so we should be all right I think be all right with that and we are whoops there he is look at that man oh there's a nice bonus fish isn't it lovely that thing eh? right we'll stick you back mate there you go right that's it I'm heading in I'm absolutely worn out but I've thoroughly enjoyed myself considering I was supposed to be at Whitley Bay we haven't done too bad have we We've done the Jody hat trick today, well that's what I like to call it, a cod, a coley and a pollock in the same trip. Nothing massive, you know, fish in the two and a half to what, three and a half pound range? I don't know, you tell me. Anyway, it's that point in the video where I ask you to subscribe to the channel and I remind you that it doesn't cost you anything. But it makes a big difference to the YouTube algorithm, you know. It means they're much more likely to show my video to new viewers and that's a big help, isn't it, to get the channel to grow. Um, Another thing that makes a big difference is a thumbs up as well. So if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to ask us a question or suggest a venue, anything at all, just pop that down in the comments because I always reply. I'll catch you next time.